So, on to a highly electric and emotional Selhurst Park. Coventry living to fight another day. Dion Dublin, he's an inspirational figure. And if ever his teammates needed this sort of a talk, it's now. Peter and Love. Now Jess takes up the play. Jess has got on Love still with him. Oh, it's great cross in. I think the offside was given anyway, but Noel Whelan was looking menacing. Pickering to John Salako, getting a few boos, the former Ballast man. Oh, and that was the way to answer them. Very nearly gave Coventry the lead. Atkinson and Strachan remain calm. That could be nice. Whelan, can he pull it back from there? No. Might be able to tee it up for and love though, it's gone over. Well, Noel Whelan very nearly gave Coventry the lead there. Mike Gross in. Oh, and that's off the post. Peter and Love, the base of the upright denies him. Still going, it's all Coventry. Hall, great ball in. Oh, and this time the bar. Denies Whelan. Well, this was the incredible one. Telfer. Now Whelan. Spreading the play wide. Pickering. Good ball in. Peter and Love. He's done it. Six minutes after the break, the Coventry fans sent into raptures. Pickering. Excellent ball in and the perfect finish. There was no chance for the keeper. Gordon Strachan pleading with the fans just to be a little sensible and not to run on the pitch. What a tense afternoon this is. Into the last minute and Love. Oh, and Love, he's got a real chance now. Peter and Love. That's done it for Coventry. Celebrations to go with it. 2 0. Peter and Love's got them both. And again, it's the rampaging fans who are in elation. Excellent finish. Well, safety's the buzzword, and that's gone a long way to giving Coventry Premiership survival, and their fans know it. And so does that man, Peter and Love. Two vital goals this afternoon. And that's the whistle. Victory for Coventry. They're still alive. We sort of thought that uh, we'd sort of done a good job against Wimbledon. We played really well and deserved the three points. But, I mean, we've, we've came off that game hoping that sort of Man City have got beat by Villa. But, I mean, they got another uh, a good result at, uh, at Villa there. And uh, that sort of was a bit disappointing, but uh, so hopefully we can turn things around on uh, Sunday against Leeds. So the Sky Blues went into their final game of the season against Leeds, locked on 37 points with fellow relegation battlers Southampton and Manchester City. With the last game of the season upon them, what have been the highlights of the season for the manager? I tell you what, if we win on Sunday, if we beat um, Leeds, that'll be the highlight, I guess. Uh, the performance of Blackburn in the home leg was good. Um, I suppose the second half performance against Tottenham in the cup coming back from a 2 nothing deficit and seeing them off was, that was, that was uh, an exciting old evening. It's been a mysterious season for me in more ways than one. It's um, because I've seen the team play quite well and not get as many positive results as I think they should have got. But I mean, just checking, you know, and this is always a measure of a side, I have to measure aside by how few games it loses. Now I've just happened to check today, by coincidence, 
that, with the exception of West Ham, nobody in the bottom half of the league has lost fewer games. Now, you've only got to turn a few of those into wins, a few of those draws into wins, and all of a sudden your position becomes a lot healthier. When the pressure's on in football, how do you uh, get away from it all and find ways of relaxing? Well, I usually ban TV interviewers like yourself at her start. That's one of the things we usually bomb out. No, it's... That's a misused word, that, that pressure bit. Um, you just knuckle down, you work harder, and you just, you just get on with doing the things. I mean, I basically, I basically this is, you know, doing most of the things that I've ever done anyway. When you're successful, you just, you just stick at things and you, you draw on your experience and say, all right, let's, let's keep pegging away.